Hi guys, how you guys doing? So let's talk about deportation of Nigerians from Kazakhstan back to their home country, Nigeria. So I've had some couple of people who were deported from Kazakhstan to Nigeria, especially at the point of entry. That is why I'm making this video. I don't care about people who were deported from here back home but I'm, I'm more concerned about people who were deported at the point of entry back to nigeria like they are coming to kazakhstan uh, they are here to enter the country they are at the airport but they were bounced back so they, they they put them back in the next flight back home so I'm sure you might have heard the story. In fact, it's all over the places, like it's trending now. Even in my comment section, people are telling me how they were deported. There was one guy that told me the same. I think last month when I made that video, my last video about people, I told people not to come to Kazakhstan. But I thought he was he was just being sarcastic. I never knew it was true. So I, apart as um Apart from him, other people have said the same thing. At least up to five people were denied entry into Kazakhstan. So this thing now boils down to my video where I said Kazakhstan visa is not available. Now, the question is why were they denied entry? There's only one reason. Their visas were invalid. Okay, I will... Sh I will Put up one now here so you can see. The guy said his visa was invalid. That was why he was deported. And I will show you another, another one here on my WhatsApp. He said his visa was invalid. So what does invalid visa mean? It means that your visa is fake. You know, when I tell people that don't come to Kazakhstan right now because the visa is not available, they would think I am... I'm just, maybe I'm stupid or I don't know what I'm doing or because I'm here, I don't want them to come, you know. See, like I said before, the right visa for you to enter this country is no longer available, which is the B2 visa, the business visa. Any agent who is advertising B2 visa for you to come to Kazakhstan, just know that that person is a bloody liar because tell them to show you the listen visa that is original one or not fake visa because they, they, they have more fake visas now the thing is they will give you the visa you will bought from nigeria you will bought from nigeria because i don't think nigeria uh, immigration even know the one that is fake and real it is where you get, you get to kazakhstan embassy as in is um, kazakhstan immigration that they will not bounce you back you understand so Number one, you waste money for the, the money you pay for that visa is gone. The money for your ticket is gone. You know, do not much almost one million naira for ticket. So, what you will be left with is just your ticket, your BTA. Then you will go back to Nigeria and start all over again. See, I didn't say you shouldn't come to Kazakhstan, no. But the thing is, the visa you are supposed to use to come right now is not available. So why risk it? Why that person, that agent that is telling you? That, um, in fact, yesterday, um, they were advertising Kazakhstan B2 visa, Kazakhstan B3 visa, Kazakhstan B1 visa, all of them available. Let me tell you, people that are here, that are here, even with the B2, with the B3, with the B10, all of them, nobody could convert their visa. Have you go to Kazakhstan group on Facebook or other platform or people that are in Kazakhstan that are honest, ask them the question, have they been able to convert their visas that are here? That is what you should be concerned about. You know, the visa is not available. And even if you manage to enter with the visa that you have already, you can't still convert. So why are you coming? Okay. Um, people, there are some other guys that came to my WhatsApp with a B12 visa. That is tourist visa. They said 
they are coming to Kazakhstan. I won't even respond to you because it's baseless. No, I can't be, I can't take my time, make video on YouTube, advice, advising you on what to do. You still come to my WhatsApp and be asking me for advice. Advice of what? I have nothing I'm hiding. Everything that I know, I'm, I'm saying it here on, what, on, on YouTube. So it's left for you to think. Use your brain. If you, you know, think about it and decide. Why would I be asking me to give you? I can't give you advice. Advice on what exactly? So from what I've said so far, you use your, your sense. Think and know if you are supposed to come or not. You understand? So now the point is, there is no... Kazakhstan B2 visa. There is no visa. See, Kazakhstan tourist visa is available. Why? Because it is a tourist visa. People used to come here, explore the city, and go back. They cannot close it because it's available to people in other countries. That does not mean that you, as a Nigerian, should use it to enter. If you come here, you have to stay just 30 days. And after that 30 days, you become illegal. You can't even convert the visa, even if you have the opportunity to do because you must exist the country to enter. Now, when you ex exist the country to enter, there is no visa for you to enter back. You understand? So, all these things people don't know. And I don't know how else to explain myself. I'll keep explaining the same thing in, the same vi in different videos. I don't know how Nigerians are thinking. You know, that agent that want to smuggle you inside Kazakhstan, are you a drug that they want to smuggle you? If the country is if the country visa is available, why we uh, an agent smuggle you in? Eh? Think, think. Don't we have brain? Think. If you want to enter a country with back through back door, you can't succeed. See, gone are those days when those things favor people. But now it don't cast, it don't cast, you know. Some some people even some of them said uh, when they enter, they will get married. Marry who? Eh? All those, all those, um, all those strategy are no longer valid. Even if you get married to someone in Kazakhstan, you have to stay here legal for three years before you can get paper. Ask around now. Ask around. So even if you marry someone from Kazakhstan, you need to stay up to three years before you can get a visa, like PR rather. And I, I was also told that Kazakhstan hardly give people their passport they can only give you pr to stay like 10 years five years you know that's a longer period of time so you can even renew it as longer you know like to re like to renew the visa later on like 10 years pr five years pr so the thing is does it really worth it does it worth it please stop allowing a gent to smuggle you in this country you will be the one to regret it okay we travel for greener patches there is no pasture here there's no green on top of pastures you understand i'm being honest here i'm this is the reality you can only make it if you are here with a, with a work visa but getting work visa is not easy people who are here don't have work visa so Coming here is a big mistake, is a wrong step. So even if you want to come, not now, maybe later, when they start issuing the visa again, you cannot take the both step. But right now, please, don't waste your hard earned money because when you enter, they will bounce you back from the airport. Except you have a good valid visa, which is B12, tourist. Now, does it worth it coming here with tourists? I don't even know how to explain you understand okay let me explain this finance one I'm, i will say and then i'll end this video b2 visa is not available the one so agent is giving you is fake it's invalid so when you enter they will bounce you back from the airport back to nigeria you understand second one is b12 is available but it's tourist visa for tourists only when you enter you will keep struggling 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 to god knows when so Use your, use your tongue and count your teeth, you understand? And know what is good for you. All right, take care. Bye.